think we're in, in transition from an age of, of abundance and surpluses to, to one of scarcity. Um, th throughout the last half of the last century, um, the big problem was surpluses. Um, we had these huge stocks that we, we had accumulated, and, and we, the market simply wasn't big enough to absorb them. But as we neared the end of the century, that began to change. Um, and the, the, the surpluses disappeared, and coming into this century, then things began to tighten. I've seen corn and soybean prices reach all-time highs. Um, and it's not, it's not a situation that's going to go away. Um, the growth in world demand for grain has now doubled what it was a decade ago. It was, was increasing about 21 million tons a year. Now suddenly the annual increase is 41 million tons a year. And the principal reason for that is so many people um, moving up the food chain now at the same time. We estimate maybe 3 billion people are now moving up the food chain, consuming more grain-intensive livestock products, <clears throat> meat, milk, eggs. So that's that's where the big growth in demand is is coming from now, and it's if we if the world economy continues to grow, that's going to continue to put more and more pressure on the the Earth's food producing capacity. On the supply side, we suddenly have water shortages. Half the world's people live in countries that are now over pumping um, aquifers to try to produce enough food. The World Bank estimates that 175 million people in India today are being fed with grain produced by overpumping. My estimate for China is that 120 million Chinese are being fed with grain produced by overpumping. Overpumping is, by definition, a short-term phenomenon. So at some point, we have to come to terms with limits on the, the amount of water that we have for irrigation. Um, then. In addition to falling water tables, we have rising temperatures. And we know that for each one degree Celsius rise in temperature, we can expect a 10% decline in grain yields. Um, that's what we've seen this summer in, in, in the US with temperatures rising and corn yields falling. Um, but this is only the beginning. Agriculture as it exists today evolved over an 11,000 year period of rather remarkable climate stability. But that climate system is no more. It is now beginning to change. Everything is in a state of flux. And the agricultural system and the climate system, which once were meshed very nicely, are now increasingly out of sync with each other. And this is creating enormous challenges for, for the world's farmers because they don't know what to anticipate. They don't know what conditions to expect. They used to know, and occasionally there'd be a, a minor deviation, but things would go back to normal. There's no norm to go back to now, and that puts farmers at a huge disadvantage.